Hi guys! Today I'm going to share with you some tips about how I usually do or what I usually do before I go traveling. So if you are looking for tips, like some of the information here, you might not even know. So I hope you stay right to the end so we could exchange some information from your command. All right. So today um, it's our day. We are going to uh, Phuket tonight. So I thought I have some time in between. So I'll just hop on and give you guys some t tips and tricks or rather some tips. Um, why am I feeling a bit nervous? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit nervous because I didn't sleep enough and last night it was so terrible. I, I think I only have two hours left. So LG was like moving all over the place. So it was kind of difficult for me to sleep, but I hope uh, I can get some sleep later after this live streaming. So if you're looking for things to do before you travel, this is the channel. Uh, my name is Esti. Uh, I am a Asian from Singapore. I am living in Sweden. Uh, I do healthy cooking videos and also uh, vlog about my life here in Sweden. So if you are new here, do subscribe. Uh, and what when you subscribe, this is what you will get. You will get to chat with me on Wednesday. Uh, we have a, a late night chat. And then on Friday, we have a dinner uh, cooking together. And then on Sunday, we have a family recipes. Then I will cook live. So once a week, I cook two times on Friday and Sunday. And I hope to catch you guys live then. All right, let's jump on to our topics. Things to do before you travel. Uh, this is something that I think quite a lot of people know, but maybe some of the points that I'm going to point out may be uh, useful for you, and I hope so too. Uh, first of all, let's talk about travel documents. Uh, make sure you have your passport, you know, not like close to the expired date, because sometimes people, <laughs> they go out, to the airport and then they realize oh my god it's only like less than six months so the some of the custom they might be kind they let you pass but most of them they won't all right so you have to make sure that your passport is at least six months valid and also depend on the comp the kind of a uh, pass that you are traveling to uh, you guys probably why am i looking down i'm actually having some notes here i've taken so i've been thinking about this and i make sure that i have this like a checklist so that i didn't miss any of the point um and then i always like to uh, screenshot or take a photograph of my passport and my id the reason why i do that is because sometimes you never know when you travel a disaster may may fall on to you and you want to have copy of your passport in your telephone and also give it to you know send it to your loved one your close one so i think that's good when i leave i always send it to my daughter my passport uh, front and the back on my ic and then he she knows what to do in case anything happened and also driving license if you're planning to drive uh, make sure you have an international one okay some comp some countries like uh, Thai Thailand they require international some other European country country they don't really require as long as you have a driving license uh, what's the difference uh, I think there is a different uh, between certain countries like in Singapore we have uh, our our a driving license is not international because we don't have winter so i don't regards our uh pass uh, our driving license at least so do check with authorities if you're planning to rent a car check with the car rental company what kind of uh pass uh what kind of driving license do they require and also uh, if you are um uh, before you go i think you don't want to sit in the beach and then thinking, oh my god, I forgot to, to pay this bill, right? So make sure you pay all your bill before you go because sometimes, you know, a certain country, you might have some problem with uh, paying bills. I do have that problem uh, before, but uh, we have this, uh, not, it's not like a chips, it's like a dose that you can click on to your PIN code to pay even if you are abroad. But who wants to bring that, right? So... 
just make sure you pay all your bills you don't have to worry and also the bank card you have to make sure that your credit card is unlocked because if you lock it you are unable to go out uh, overseas and make purchases so bear in mind right check with your bank or let the bank know when you are leaving and when you are coming back and then the bank will advise you what is the best possible th things to do to be safe and also insurance make sure you have enough insurance to cover uh, if you are going to a high risk country make sure you read that carefully and have yourself covered no matter how uh, and make sure it's enough and also uh, you also need insurance for when you buy air tickets because sometimes some uh, air line or air agency might go bankrupt like thomas cook for example right they just bang, go bankrupt and everybody got stuck so the insurance company was struggling with uh, the payment and all that so you want to avoid that so make sure you have this insurance it costs just a, a couple of uh, hundred crowns so it's not that expensive and i think definitely it's worthwhile paying it um, and also changing money you want to ch make sure you change enough money but not too much uh, my advice is you go to trip advisor like for example right now i'm going to thailand right so I want to know approximately how much a person spent averagely. I'm talking about me as an average person. So trip advisor is one place where you could check with other people, experienced uh, traveler who have been to the country and they know and they can advise you how much to bring. So for my case is I usually doesn't want to change everything even though I know that the rate sometimes uh, uh, can be good locally but in most time like in the case of thailand uh, it is better to change uh, in thailand uh, than in sweden because in sweden the rate you get from the bank or the forex ex exchange is much much lower so you lose out on that so my advice is go there you just change enough for you to take a taxi or maybe for some meals and drinks uh, if you need them but you know, a comfortable amount like two thousand baht, for example, a thousand baht is for the taxi, and then you have at least another thousand baht in case you want to give tips. You want to buy something, so you have something, and then until the next day, you go to the Puki Center or you go to the city, and then you change because the city usually they have a lot of money changer, and you can ask for a better rate, right? Just go and scout around, and also um, I think these uh, documents is very important uh, i know most people have inter they book their trip online so you get this electronic uh, receipt so what i ad advise is that you make a screenshot on the receipt so that when you are in the check-in point you can check with a person who check in for you and ask if you could check your bag all the way to the last destination i think that is very important you can have them in papers too because in case you lost your phone right you still have the paper so it's it's very it's very good to have both way but now these people don't even carry paper but just in case yeah and also your calendar uh i don't know how many of you do the calendar thing but i do a calendar and i share my calendar with my daughter because i want her to know that okay like which day i'm at maybe uh, in Phuket or uh, which day I'm in Bangkok so she's well known uh, where am I situated and then she could easily locate me in, if anything happens right and also I like to put my telephone uh, on a voicemail uh, and also my mail I try to just put them on hold or maybe do a self uh, reply uh, small messages to those people who send you mail a lot of people miss out on that and definitely very good for those people who work uh, from the office and uh, higher authorities you know you need to be uh, keeping your customers or your colleagues known where you are and also healthcare if you need to vaccinate if you need vaccination uh, like a country in Thailand I think it's very good that you if you can get that done because I think uh, most people
people from Europe or even from USA, they have this problem with food there and it's very common that you get food poisoning. So make sure, because there's a lot of seafood there, and make sure you just, you know, play on the safer side. Go and get vaccine. And make sure you don't just do it like last minute, you know. Oh my goodness, next week. Oh, they don't have time for you. Plan in advance, like three, four, uh, like two months in advance, so that you get a closer date, you know, to your vaccine. You don't have to do it like last minute. And also, if you have any medication issue, like from my case, uh, the other day I do a live streaming on my cough medicine, which includes morphine. So you want to make sure that you have a release on that, a receipt for that from your doctors. So at a checkpoint, in case the doc sniff on your morphine, you know, you have this receipt that you can remiss, that you can show it to the officer. So you don't get into trouble. And also health accident uh, uh, insurance is also very important. Who knows? In a case, if you might fall sick, then who's going to pay, right? So usually, uh, house in Sweden, we have this house insurance, usually include, but then it's always better to check, like, you know, if, who knows, you might need additional insurance, and it doesn't cost so much for you to just include that in. So I think it's very good. And let's come back to home, right? When we, before we leave the home, uh, I always make sure that my fridge is clean, uh, I get rid of all the food like you know leftover and then I throw them away I wash uh, everything and then I just don't want to have some old food inside if you are going like for a few days it's okay but if you're going like for me 17 days so you want to make sure that you don't have old food in the refrigerator refrigerator because it will contaminate your fr refrigerator yeah so clean up and then also bed sheets uh, and also bathroom bed sheet is very good if you clean them because when you come back from your trip you're all so tired right so you don't want to like make the bed or you don't want to sleep in a bed that is hasn't been cleaned for a while so make sure if you have time clean the bed remove the uh, old one and put new bed sheets so when we come back we can just lie down the bed and just rest so in many cases, we not, never thought about that. But, and also bathroom, right? We don't want to leave a bathroom that is un uh, dirty. So you want to come back to a clean bathroom and also the kitchen. You want to be able to maybe cook a simple meal. So what I want to do is that I always have like uh, some food like soup, you know, in case you come back at night and you don't want to go out to eat. So you have some soup ready that is maybe instant soup. So I think our noodles can be quite good. And house sitting, uh, usually when you are going away, it's better not to tell everybody, the whole world, especially Facebook, saying that you're not, uh, unless you your friend is like, you know, uh, not in, Sing uh, in Sweden. But even if though, try not to tell everybody that because sometimes, you know, if your profile is public, people, you know, theft might check onto your profile and come and rob you while you are not at home. So if you are going away, make sure you have a house seating, people that you can trust, like neighbors, like old lady, because they are very busy body, right? They have nothing to do, they always stick out and, and look at the neighbors. So it's good that you have this kind of neighbor around and talk to them and ask them for help. So usually they are very happy to help you. And then if you need like um, uh, neighbors who always go traveling so you can like pack up with them you know and say hey i help you this time and then the next time you help me so uh, and then you know just help each other look out for each other and then in case like pets especially when we have cats right so we try to get help uh, make sure there's enough food make sure there's enough uh, sand make sure there's fresh water for your pet and tell your pet caretaker the important thing because sometimes if the person has no cat, she, he or she doesn't understand how is it like, right? How often you should feed them. So write to, write to them some notes and tell them what are the things that they need to do in details. And so there will not be misunderstanding. And also water the plant. If you're going like a week uh, in Singapore, I do not know. But in Sweden, uh, during this time when it's not summer, the, the soil is, tends to be quite damp. So for us, we only water like once a week, 
but if I'm going like two weeks then the plant might get dry so what I usually do is that I water the plant like two three days before I go and then on the day that I go and then I water one more time so I make sure that they have enough water and then it's just sufficient not like it's too much you're flooding your plant then they, they might end up dying so just make sure you remember to do that and I think it should be okay and then what I like to do is like I like to if you are getting somebody if you're going more than like a month or what so you want to like gather all your plant together on the table what I did is that I put a newspaper and then I put all the plant in one place uh, where there is sunny so when your caretaker come he will just water only one place you don't have to go around searching everywhere for the plant right so I think that is one way you could do that uh, and also if, if you can uh, give the plant a bit of nutrient because when there's nobody at home you know there is no nitrogen uh, so the plant might be a little bit lacking of nutrient so just add a little bit you know just to make them happy and healthy and also walk all the plugs like uh, your electrical point unplug them and if you have a water close the tap if there is no if, if you don't need water but if you have a pet you might need water for the water for the pet to drink so if you don't just uh, lock it and then uh, the light things it's very good that you uh, invest in some timer you know you want to make sure that the house doesn't look dead right and then sometimes uh, during the uh, autumn season it's a very popular time for teeth to come and visit you so it's very good to invest in this kind of very cheap timer so you just set a time like okay every night you know approximately what time it will be dark so you can set from seven to maybe until the morning or until midnight so i think it's good small thing like that you know it will definitely make a difference so people tell that oh this is uh, they are at home you know so try not to be playing a fool eh? okay and then also alarm uh, if you have alarm system uh, make sure you test it and then if you can change the code because sometimes you give to friends or you might leak the alarm uh, code right so if you can reset the alarm code and then the phone I think phone if you have a phone that has dual sim card is better because then you can use bo both so usually last time when I don't have a dual sync card, I use two telephones. <laughs> one is for overseas and one for, for my local call. So I think it's very troublesome. But nowadays, a lot of mobile has two SIM cards. So that is a very good uh, solution for people who wants to, you know, be contact with their families and friends. And also open the phone. Some people, they have problem when they come to a new country. And they, they wonder how come the 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 sim card they bought they go back and then they put it in right how come you cannot open how come you cannot get it work it's because the phone is not open so don't worry when you buy the sim card get the people who works there to help you to open up the sim card so some telephone need you to open manually so you have to learn how to do that otherwise youtube is is very good source where you can learn ev almost everything it's not that difficult either and also remember charger uh, remember to bring charger because sometimes some charger can be quite expensive and maybe sometimes some charger is kind of difficult to find right so make sure you have uh, charge your telephone I always like to charge uh, fully before I leave my home and then I always have the charger with me along and also weather weather is very important uh, I always like to check the weather maybe I'm getting more and more Swedish but even though I know Thailand the weather is quite you know the same maybe a little bit of rain but I still want to know uh, okay at which day it's going to be rain and what you supposed to bring are you going to bring umbrella or you're going to bring raincoat so depending on yourself I find that wearing a raincoat can be too warm if you are going to a tropical country like in Thailand so it's better to bring an umbrella in this case all right, taxi service. When you come to the airport, right, you do not know what to do. How do I get to the airport? How do I get to the hotel? So what I would suggest you that, that you do is that 
uh, TripAdvisor or YouTube, there's always a lot of information. Uh, uh, travelers who you know give you tips about okay, let's say if I'm in Thailand, if I want to go to uh, my hotel from the airport, what should I do, right? Which is the cheapest, best, safest way, right? So like last night, I in fact I just checked last night and they said, oh you shouldn't take the mini transfer, the mini bus transfer because they wait until like twelve people and then you have to wait and wait. You know I do not know how long it will take. But then when you wait, they will send, you know, to this uh, child passengers of uh, different hotels, right? And I think to a certain point at, at a cert middle of the trip or towards the end, they always like to bring you to places like travel agency and try to sell you their tour and telling you, oh, this is the best tour you can get. Don't listen to that, okay? And you don't have time for that. When you arrive, you want to be sound and safe and hopefully the shortest period of time for you to go back to your hotel. So for me, my advice is take a taxi. Sometimes you can book taxi online, which is slightly expensive, but I think it's worth it because then you get somebody coming, uh, when you come out from the gate, somebody is there waiting for you with your name, right? But for that service, you have to pay a few bucks more. But I think it's definitely worth it. So check on that. I, th I think TripAdvisor is a very good place where you could find a lot of information. And also, when you check, check on the date also. Don't check like, oh, 2005, you know, the information, which is not accurate anymore. Try to search like 2019 when you ask a question, whether you're on Google's or whether you're on TripAdvisor. Always use the recent review, then you'll get the most accurate one. And then the language barrier, you know what? Not a problem. Because nowadays you have this uh, translator on your phone, right? Provided you have a SIM card and data. So learn some basic language like, you know, how much is this? Uh, not too spicy. Uh, can it be negotiable? You learn something like that, which is really, really useful. But in case, uh, you know, when you come to a country where they totally cannot speak English, then that could be a problem. Then there is where trend translator you know the app can come in good hand and i think that is really really good and also check the best way like you know to to uh, get information on the places that you go to like what is the review why is it worth while visiting is it like a tourist trap or not so all this information you can get them easily by just googling and I, I don't think so it's that difficult to find and also i know that that is a like a discount app uh discount app is something that i just found out recently uh like if you go to a country like phuket and then a, a thai a, a region like phuket a country like thailand right then they always have this kind of app or whatever country that you go uh discount app which i think is really good the one that i found is clue K-L-O, uh, K-L-O-O, I think, something like that. And they can give you discount up to 25 to sometimes, you know, 30 to 30%, 30 which is a good saving. If you're coming like a group, then this is a lot of savings, right? So do check out, like, just go to the app, Android or ISO, and check discount, uh, travel discount app. So there will be a lot. And then you will select and see the review too, like, whether this app is reliable or the service is reliable or not. I think I've covered almost everything. And I think uh, if if possible, you know, if you have uh, like a important uh, telephone numbers or information, uh, you know, trips is very unpredictable. Sometimes some people can lose their life. I'm not trying to scare you, but you know, if you have a will, make sure you do that. Uh, if you are having a very complication, complicated family uh, issue, then make sure you do that so you can go at ease. Yeah, you don't have to worry like the kids going to kill each other, uh, you know, over my will. So make sure you have the will. And I know it's very uh, awkward, but you know, it's like for the peace of mind. And also telephone number, important telephone number. Uh, on our telephone nowadays, we have uh, like uh, uh, 
feature where you could uh, contact like SOS where you could contact if anything happened so the person will be contacted in case anything happened to you and also write down your blood group because sometimes you might end up in an accident and then when you come to the hospital nobody know what blood group you are so usually there is um, like a tag in Sweden we have like a tag that you can wear but nowadays nobody do that the best thing is to put them in the telephone or maybe write them on a piece of paper and put them like a, a you know a covered uh, PVC or a plastic cover so people know okay in, in case anything happened if this bag is lost or if anything happened to this carrier then I will contact these people so these are the very very important information that you should uh, be carrying around don't take for granted because you never know right okay I think I have covered everything I hope this is very useful for you if you have any other thing that I might miss out let me know in the comment and I love to hear from you what do you think are you going on the next trip where are you going if I can be of help I'll try to help you on that all right guys have a nice day and my motto in my live streaming is actually um, you know life is too, sh too sweet and it's too short so live every day like as though it is your last all right so guys see you bye bye